Hello and welcome to Season 0 of Unfortunate Craft. Season 0 because I'm a programmer. So we just started a brand new world and we're by the ocean. Yay! We are using mods. Cheats are enabled. I will only use them for the journey map mod, which I'll talk about later. And we'll get into there. So let's, uh, let's look around. We have so many chickens. Die, chickens. Okay, we have a beautiful little bowl here, which actually... Actually, we're in spawn chunks. This would make a really good place to put our iron farm. Huzzah! So the only problem with doing putting an iron farm here is the doors may extend over into spawn chunks. Um, as I mentioned, we are using some mods here, and one of the mods we're using is Bounding Box. So let me just pop that open. So you can see here where we actually spawn is here, and I tend to bring a bed with me so I don't have a home bed, so I'll always end up in this region. And if our iron farm is kind of pushing into this, by about here. Now, granted, I'm not making the full iron farm, or I'm using Tango Tech's Iron Phoenix, which I will link below, but instead of making the whole 64, 128, whatever number of villages he insanely puts in, we're just gonna start with five villages, and really, to begin with, we're gonna start with one village with uh, five sets of doors on each side. I would want to put kind of a village farm here just to have villagers start breeding, working their way up in population. Grab this guy, and then we're going to go underground for a little while. Two, three, and we have diamonds. Huzzah. Okay, so we have diamonds. This is definitely part of whatever chunk all this is, uh, F3. This is chunk negative 30 to negative 31. Okay, so this is about time. Let me go ahead and collect these diamonds. Oh, ooh, redstone. Collect these diamonds while I'm here. So one of our mods is Journey Map. And this gives you a map. It lets you place waypoints so you can look. And so what I'm going to do is uh, create myself a waypoint right here just to have and call it diamond and I've forgotten where we are uh, negative 32 negative 31 save and close now that puts a little uh, waypoint here on the map and if we have the day map set up we could see above ground but we're below ground at the moment so just exit out of there and you can see on the map that's appeared in the top right corner, we have that little waypoint. I actually don't want that, so what I'm going to do is turn that off. So in the map, it doesn't work. It starts off having the mini map up there. I turned it off when we started this because there's so much to talk about that we didn't need to get into all of that nonsense. But now that we know why there's a mini map there, it works better. And now it's daytime, so hopefully there are no creepers. I'm going to kind of run while looking behind me. And no creepers. Excellent. Now that we have a sword, actually, let's, uh, let's kill some of these chickens. Because we don't need chicken. Aha! I knew I saw you, sheep. Ha. Ah. Okay, so this is the sheep I was trying to shear so I can make myself a bed. Now, I did not change any of the settings on this world besides just, you know, the normal mods. So everything has a normal chance of spawning. I didn't set diamonds to be in every level of every chunk or anything crazy like that. So one thing, I am collecting the eggs so we can make a chicken breeder at some point. When we do that, we don't need the actual chickens being around. Haha, -ha, I have an orange bed because I'm the coolest. Let's go ahead and use up some of this cobblestone. We don't have a lot, but we have some. And just plan out our wall 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's going to be a three by three gap in there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then wall. Ooh, and that works perfectly against that. That's really cool. One. Alrighty, and there we have it. We have the base of our lowest platform of an iron farm. So, what do we need? We need more stone to put in there. We need some iron to make buckets to put water in. That's fine. We have plenty of iron at this point. We need lots of wood to put on this side and on that side. And I'm just going to do... Um five sets of 11 doors each. So I only need 110 because five sets over there and five sets over here. 11 doors on each side. Um, that's how I was saying it, yeah. We do need to get this lid up because when we start filling in the first floor, it is going to get rather dark. Yes, I have all of 55 cobblestone left which is not even close to enough because each corner here will be 64 and then we need four five five and a half stacks of cobblestone that's going to take a little while so actually what I'm going to do is do a little bit more mining before we get off to other things huzzah so we have our initial platform. Let me go ahead and get some water in this because that, that will be the true test. Okay, and there we have it. We have the platform for our iron firm completed. But I'm going to see about building out some doors. Okay, here's our platforms. Now, interestingly, we can just walk underneath this platform. And so I might actually leave this raised like that and then we'll put some in theory support over there um decorative support so that's where those are going to be the door is going to be up there and then we'll need a solid block so it's going to look something like this that's a pumpkin and yeah that's basically how it's going to look two one two two and actually what is that i think two one is the letter n i don't know what two two is and that's if i'm reading from inside to outside n m which is confusing because if you do n m that's the same as the letter y did you know that mm. american morse well international morse code now, if you read it the other way, too long, a short, and a long. So, if you read it from that direction, that's the letter Q. Good to know. We're learning stuff. So, I need pumpkins. A lot of pumpkins. I need to cut down some forests. Ooh, pumpkins. No, are those pumpkins? I can't tell. Okay, good. We have pumpkins. And we did make some buckets so we can get some water. That's good. I'm not making any sort of crazy automatic pumpkin farm because I find that they're, unless you make it really big, they're generally pretty slow. The only times I really need any pumpkins, I only need less than a stack. Maybe a stack. Oh, by the way, you've seen some trees with uh, cobwebs on them. You've seen some trees with those bees on them. You've seen these. Uh, this is from Pam's Harvest Craft. And I just, I just did that. Um, one of the best things about this is you can right click on crops, most crops, and it brings them back to the normal state. So these are actually cherries. Yes. Um, and so Pam's Harvest Cross has loads of different recipes to make loads of different things, which is all really fun and cool. I don't know how many of those things I'll do. I don't know if this unfortunate craft will actually try and make one of every recipe I'm tempted but yes those yes that's a soggy garden 
We've seen a couple, like this one over here is a windy garden. Let me just grab that. And if you break these, they have a bunch of things in them. For example, the windy garden actually has wheat and potatoes and carrots, as well as a few other things. And it's you get three assorted ones. Um, but yeah, we will talk more about that um, mod later on as well, when we start plotting out big, huge gardens of doom. Because they, because Harvestcraft has loads of crops. Like, loads and loads of crops. Okay, so what do we need? We need a pumpkin farm. Where do we need it? We need it over here. Rude. Okay, well. Um, well that's weird. You okay? We're gonna pretend like that made sense. And now we need our first hoe. And one of the achievements in Minecraft is to completely use up a diamond hoe. And then question yourself. Question your life choices. So, we're going to get that process started. Not the questioning our life choices. Not yet. No. <laughs> um, but, get ourselves a diamond hoe. We are actually going to go through it relatively quickly. So, every time I harvest pumpkins from over here, I'm going to be getting 32 pumpkins. Um, these are going to take a while to grow. So that's fine. We're going to extend out these. Now I will want to make some sort of ramp up to this one. So I'm going to just, uh, actually I'm going to start it on this guy over here. I said, start it on that guy. And then that way I'll be able to get to the middle one as well. Okay. And now we need to come over here and do the same thing. Um, we saw some skeletons. Did we actually get any bones? We did get some bones. Let's make some quick bone meal. Is there anybody else who's kind of going? Uh, one more. You. Okay. Well, good enough. Two of these. The letter Y. Or well, actually, that's not a letter Y because there's two spaces in there. It depends on how you do it. So yeah, that is definitely NM or or MA if you read from the outside end. And you know, I think I will. So we have ma. Okay, so we have those set up. We do need to get some pumpkins in there. Pumpkins are going to take forever. Huzzah. Let me preload so that when we have pumpkins, we can just immediately put them in. We're going to do a quick deforestation. And by quick, I mean I'm going to wander around a bit. Doors, it does not matter which type, or well, it kind of does because it'll look really ugly if we start mixing the types of trees we have. So let's do some calculations on how many actual doors we need or how much wood we need. So we need 55 on each side, 110 doors, and there is six planks per one door, and there is four wood, or four, no, one wood is four planks. There we go, gotta do my stoichiometry. So I need 73 pieces of wood, and I have 50. So I actually need 23 more. However, I'm going to go ahead and just turn all of these into doors and start getting some of the doors set up. Any more pumpkins? Ooh, another pumpkin. Grab that guy, huzzah. Okay, moving on, let's do this side first. Okay, so there's 45 doors down. Yes. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I can do this whole row and then all but one of that. Okay, I must have done the math wrong because that's three pieces of wood, which means I need 
four more total pieces of wood? Question mark. Because that is not 73 pieces of wood. And this is why I dislike chemistry. Because stoichiometry also throws me for a loop. Also, they don't reduce their fractions, which is frustrating. Let's see, if we are going to make that be a bit of a grove, I'm going to actually start a little mini tree farm thingamabob here. Again, this is not going to be where my base is. So a lot of the farms, I'm not going to make a little permanent farm here. Now wheat would be super important for some things. Oh, for growing a healthy sheep population. Um, yeah, let me let me set up a quick uh, wheat farm here. Now, because I'm using Harvest Craft, they actually use a different recipe in order to make bread, which is a bit of a shame because that means I can't just make bread to give to villagers. And do I still have my shears on me now? Because that sheep is looking at me funny. Also, because I want to be able to do this and grab some wool to cover over that water hole. So we have a wheat farm happening here. We need to do a little beginner's wool farm. I'm not sure the best place to put that. And now I'm leaving this grass block next to me here. And that's for the very good reason of me being able to get out without sheep being able to get out. There's probably other solutions, possibly even really good, clever solutions, but this one requires no materials. So I'm okay with it. Alrighty, so while waiting for our pumpkin patch to grow and I got all of these set up, we're going to do the upper sections on here. All right, so it is not done. Nope, I need more cobblestone. One thing I think I'm going to do is do that simple maybe build of a cobblestone generator. And then feeding into the treasure chest, two hoppers. And then cobblestone for the rest of these. Leave that blank so we know we can't go up there. And now we can replace this guy there. Okay, now, now, has this picked up cobblestone? It has. Excellent. So, I can sit here for a little while and gather a bunch of cobblestone because how much do I need? I need 50 plus 45 is 90 is 140 is uh, just under three stacks. And we broke. Okay, let's see how much we had. I already grabbed some. Oh, uh, we have exactly two stacks and eight. So let's see how much we can do with just that little amount. Good news is we have plenty of jack-o'-lanterns. And I believe we need all uh, 10 over there. Ooh, and we have a sheep already landed in there. In fact, let's get this other one in there. And okay, come over here. Yes. Fall down, yes. And here we go, we have the lids on those two, we have the lids on these two. We do not have a path leading up to that guy, but that's fine. Uh, we do have this path here, we have all of our lower level doors in. And let's see, so that's that. We have, let's see if these guys are ready to breed again, probably not. You, yes. You're ready to breed. Come here, mama sheep. You need to make more sheep. Okay. And go ahead and give you all a trim. Grab you. Now, at this point, I don't really need all those pumpkins, but it's fine. We can just leave a little pumpkin farm here. Um, well, if I make a slime farm, I'll need pump or a jack-o'-lantern. So yeah, I'll go ahead and keep picking them up. And it's getting nighttime, so I'm about to say goodbye. I think, yes, yes. Thank you for joining me for this zeroth episode of season zero because I'm a programmer. And yeah, all the YouTube things, subscribing, big help to me because I know people care. In theory, it'll go to your subscription feed and might show up at some point on your homepage.
Maybe not. Yes, there's a bell apparently that I've never used because I find it super annoying. But if you do want to be notified when one of my episodes go up, and they're probably going to start off going up once a week, then you'll be able to see as soon as they go up. And apparently likes are a super huge, very important thing so that other people see it. And if other people see it, and they like it, and I actually have some fans, more than just like one or two, mom, then I'll know that this is something that I should keep doing. And of course, comment below what you would like to see more of, less of. I know this is episode zero, so there's not too much that you know so far. But hopefully this was somewhat entertaining. We made a lot of progress on our makeshift one village iron farm inspired by Tango Text Design. Anyways, thank you. All the leaves are dying behind me. They're telling me to go away. Maybe they count as a countdown, but I cannot fill five more leaves worth of ending. So thank you again. <laughs> Bye.